Hey all, uh, welcome to this practical session on using System Center Orchestrator and vSphere for the Mumbai University's cloud management syllabus. Uh, for this practical, I we require two things. Uh, one is a server that is running Windows Server around 12 as well as the system center orchestrator component and a second thing is that we require to have an ESXi server currently I am running an ESXi server on an IP address, IP address 10.0.0.20 on my machine I also have the VMware vSphere client installed where my username is root and the password is root123 uh, the aim of the session is we will be using the system orchestrator to create some activities which will then interact with the ESX server to perform different tasks for example to start the virtual machine or to create a virtual machine or maybe to even clone a virtual machine if you see right now I'm currently having two virtual machines let's say I will just delete this virtual machine so I'm currently having a virtual machine that is said to be a demo VM if I click on it and if I go into summary you can see that this virtual machine is not running that is it is giving me the option to start on uh, for this practical along with the component I will require to have the system center vSphere integration pack installed I will give a link to download the vSphere integration pack in the description below I currently have downloaded two versions I have downloaded a version for the uh, orchestrator R2 as well as for the service pack 1 installation after you get the integration pack you need to install the integration pack into the system the installation is done through the deployment manager so when I open deployment manager on my orchestrator server you need to right click on the integration packs folder you need to first register the integration pack and then you need to deploy the integration pack when you select in register I will need to click on the add button and browse for where my integration pack is located I'll click if you if you'll see I'm using the version that is 7.2 of the system center integration pack for yes for vSphere when I click next and when I click finish it'll give me this agreement I need to accept the agreement to proceed further after accepting the agreement the system will take some time to register the integration pack if you have previously installed a lower version of an integration pack please kindly uninstall the integration you need to uh, unregister the integration pack and also try checking your ad programs and features add remove section in control panel and uninstall the previous integration pack all right after I register i need to deploy this integration pack to my runbook server my orchestrator server is my orchestrator server is also running my runbook server or my runbook designer so i will be deploying this integration pack onto the same server when i click next i need to tick mark which integration pack i want to deploy i will select name as system center click next let's say i want to deploy the same machine hence i will type localhost and then click add if you see right now the name of my system center orchestrator server is set is scorc that is system center orchestrator when i click next i will make sure it will stop all the running run books and when i finally click finish it will start deploying the integration pack onto my system center orchestrator server if you see below in the log entry is giving me a success for it now what needs to be done is I need to open my runbook designer when I go into runbook designer I I need to first go into options because I've installed the integration pack it is giving me an option for VMware vSphere under options and also in 
under activities it is showing me the vm where vSphere over there i will first need to configure the connectivity options for it let's say i'm clicking an ad i'm giving it vSphere as the name type when i click on a triple dots i will select vSphere settings when I select vSphere setting, the properties will then start populating and it will give me different fields where I can enter the IP address of the server, the username and the password of my ESX server as well. My server IP address is 10.0.0.20, username is root, password is root123, uh, SSL can be left as it is, port can be left blank, web server timeout can be left as blank. Then I'll click on finish. Now, first thing is I need to create a runbook. I can create a runbook by right-clicking on the runbook folder, selecting new, and selecting runbook. When I select, when I select new and I create a runbook, you will see a new runbook tab has come on top. If I want, I can right-click on a tab name and give a renaming. And let's say I click out, and I will give it a name as vSphere. All right. So for the basic first task, let's say that I want to get a uh, VM list I need to then I want to get the status of a particular virtual machine and let's say is that I want to start the virtual machine okay. so I drag three activities that is get VM list get status and start VM if I hover my mouse on top of the activity, it shows me this cross type of icon. I can then drag linkages between these activities. For example, I can link get VM list to get VM status and get VM status to start VM. Alright. If you see currently right now I'm having just one virtual machine called as demo VM which is currently off. To set to configure each activity I can either right click and go into properties or I can double click on the activity and the activity properties will show up in each activity the configuration section the configuration name will always point to my to the configuration setting which we had created under the options menu over there if i want to do some filtering for example if i have maybe 10 virtual machines and i want to i only want to pass the values of a specific virtual machine whose name begins or whose name contains some sort of values i can define those filtering using the filters section of my get vm list properties screen so let's say i'm adding a filter right now the filter is if the VM name contains demo only the property of this virtual machine will then be passed forward on to the next activity I will now double click on get VM status configuration same thing I'll, conf I'll select my the settings file which I created before if I look in the under properties properties is asking me for a VM part this VM part information I can get from the previously uh, from the previous activity in order for me to get the previous value of the previous activity I need to subscribe to it I can subscribe by right clicking on the blank space selecting the subscribe option selecting publish data you will see in the activity drop down it will show me get VM list I am interested in my VM part so I will select VM part over here and I'll click on finish Finally, I will click on Start VM. Start VM is I will click on vSphere. And vSphere, let's say I want to give the part. VM part will be same thing. It will be, pub it'll be from the previous status window. That is VM part. Alright. Let's say after starting the virtual machine, I want to create a virtual machine let's say let's 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 
instead of creating letters try cloning a virtual machine all right so after i start the virtual machine i'll pipe this into my cloning clone vm if i double click on clone vm configuration will be passing to vSphere source part template name will be taken from the previous activity folder part previously host system part resource pool i can click on these three dots and select the predefined values data store part will my data store value let's say i'm giving this virtual machine name as lionel and i'm giving this ram maybe something around 128 mb processes one clone task and i'm clicking finish right so i've created four activities that are linked together after creating an activity i need to test whether these activities are working or not i can test these activities by going into a run book by clicking on the run book tester my run book tester allows me to try out the activity now i'll just click on the run button on top and each activity will go through as each activity finishes it will give me a play green play icon on our activity once it is successful it will give me a success message i can click on this plus icon to expand the activity information it will first do get it will first do each activity in a particular order it will first do the get vm list activity then it will do the get vm status activity then in then it will start the virtual machine and then i am trying to clone the virtual machine which of uh, I'm then trying to clone the demo virtual machine. This entire runbook can take some time depending upon it. If I go into a VSPA client, I can see right now in the recent task, different different tasks are happening over here. And if I see it is giving me an error for cloning part it has started my virtual machine up but it has failed to clone my virtual machine if i expand the cloning it gives me an option and the operation is not supported on this okay shit. all right so i'm having some issue with the cloning part all right let's say in place of cloning well, click on window property and try to configure it again Just go ahead and check my deployment manager which deployment value I select in the integration pack version 7.2 all right go into properties uh, and let's do one two machine five phones optional properties all right let's do one thing let's delete this off and just try maybe creating a VM Your Ethernet card name as ABC. I will give the virtual uh, 2 GB. And let's say after the virtual ma machine gets created, I want to start the virtual machine. On. Right. I'll run, I will go into run book tester and I'll click on the run option and wait and see if the running happens. If you do get some error somewhere, it is mostly because it you need to you need to have some sort of task running before it.
Another thing could be also because of user privileges. So let's see if this task is running. If this task is successful, I should be getting a virtual machine called a demo over here, and that virtual machine should start up. Alright, my virtual machine has been created and if you can see down below my virtual machine is now starting up. So if I go if I go through an overview, in this session we have looked at how to register an integration pack, how to deploy an integration pack. We also looked at creating runbooks where I had created two runbook types, one for starting of a virtual machine and second for creation of a virtual machine if you do like this video please hit the like button below this or do leave some good comment thank you